Afternoon, how are we doing? Sunday afternoon, haven't shaved since Thursday, so I'm in need of a scrape. And a bit like many other YouTubers, YouTube shavers, this week I'm using a Gillette, however, I'm using a vintage Gillette, a Gillette Rocket. One piece, non adjustable, twist to open razor. So, turn the knob on the doors, and turn the knob at the bottom of the handle, and the, the doors open. Uh, this is a made in England rocket or super speed from around about 1949, but it's from Canada. It's the Canadian, it actually came from a eBay seller in Canada. So, as I said, turn the knob, the doors open, and in here today we are going for Paul Silver Super Iridium on its first use. So, there's the blade loaded in. Now we just there we go, lock it all off. Brush for today, Razor Rock 400, rubber set style handle with a black Plisson type knot. Get some water in that. And the soap for today was very kindly sent to me by Gareth Jones. Gareth, thank you very much. Uh, I thought he would send me a sample. Well, he did, in the size of a tub. So, yeah, a fair size sample. Gareth, thank you very much. Ariana and Evans, so called hipster. Hipster, trendy, tattoos, beard, fits right into me. And my character all in all. Yeah, however, the scent on this soap is absolutely lush. The scent notes on it are pink peppercorn, pineapple, banana, passion fruit, mango, cade, oak moss, sandalwood, cedarwood and musk. So as you can see it's got quite a few divergence of scents. So dry puck, not bloomed, brush, wet, one, two, three. There we go. We'll just introduce them to each other, so to speak. So last few weeks there's been a few new subscribers. Thank you very much. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, leave a comment. If you don't, leave a comment. Yeah, a few new subs, so the subscriber count is slowly creeping upwards. Thank you very much, gents, ladies, folks, people, whoever the hell you are. Cheers. It's much appreciated. Uh, Oh yeah, lovely. I haven't used this soap before, even despite the fact it's been with me a while. I don't know what time the ice cream man's coming today, or if he is, or they are, because it is quite chilly outside. Yes, I'm still loading. Soap is a cheap commodity and it's the only protection between my skin and a sharp piece of steel. So, I don't mind having a good load of soap in the brush. I saw a post yesterday in one of the Facebook groups, somebody mentioned about Kevy shaves taking so long to get a lather up. 
who cares? It's not a race. If you know that we're up in 30 seconds and have something dry and tasty, fine, crack on if you're happy with that. That's what works for you. What issues with that? Personally, I want a well hydrated lather on my face. Something akin to double cream but hydrated. And enough. So I don't have to go back to the puck. I could share with that. However, I'm not going to. nowhere near hydrated enough that's the thing about wet shaving you do what works for you you shave how you enjoy it whether it be a straight razor a shave edge a single edge double edge a Merca 34 or something a Wolfman and you go either end of the scale on price wise. There's far too many sheep. Everything gets hyped to hell. Everything that comes out and uses the latest and greatest. Soap formulas now are so good. They're just getting the difference between the best is marginal. This is a towel based soap. So obviously if you don't like it, if you're a vegan or you only use vegan soaps, this soap isn't for you. If you are a vegan, I would point you in the direction of Wickham Soaps, who, in my opinion, make one of the best towel bases, non towel, vegetable, non towel bases, vegetable base soaps on the market. With very good scents. Very good performance and very good poor share feel. This soap was first produced for uh, a wet shave makeup in Southern California, hence the name SoCal, Southern California. And then Peter released it to the general, to the club, I think, first, and then to the general public. It doesn't even taste that bad, actually. It tasted worse. Don't taste your soaps, it's not good. is well hydrated even a straight edge will go through that nicely because the, water, the amount of water in it so Gillette Rocket gosh shiny it is as well lovely cleaned up great when it arrived a little bit of peak which is a a very mild abrasive polish on the head and salt of water. That's all it took and it just comes up lovely with a pole silver super iridium on its first use. If 
the new Gillette shaves as good as this, it will be okay. I think this razor is 1953, 51, 49, somewhere on there. It's a good, it's a good age. The super speeds. Just shave well. They're not aggressive. It's a razor that was designed to use by men every day. So it's not aggressive. I'm not going to rip it to pieces. Beautifully designed. Beautifully made after so long. At such an age, if I'm in such good condition, I'll be more than happy. I would say they're readily available on the second hand market. Well, they are from certain parts of the world. whether it's a rocket or a flare tip it's the same head there's no thought to be said for a vintage razor with modern blades in So, loads of slickness left on the, on the skin. Really nice summer scent. It's marketed as a summer soap. That's why I'm using it in November. It's totally beyond me. But hey, who cares? All the hype that comes around with modern razor releases. It's almost indicative of modern society. People forget what's been made before, what's available in the market. And these can be found for bargain prices. Just because 
because it's new, it's not always better. There's not a lot left, I tell you. Not a lot left at all. Soap scent, decent strength to it. It's an 11 on the scale, it's quite a decent strength to it. You know it's there, you can smell it. What more do you want from your soap? If you use the channel, this area, my chin, my, my, my weeper area, it's where I get all my weepers generally. So instead of shaving straight up on the third pass, I'll basically do two 45 degree passes. The top lip's not a problem. Just the chin, and after a while, I worked out that. There. This part here is where I get all my leaps generally. Surprising, isn't it? 60 years old, if not older, and you can still hear it take the hairs down. Shed loads of slickness left on that skin there. Really nice. The only other Ariana, Ariana and Evans soap I've tried also had really good post shave feel. So all I've done there is I've squeezed all the soap out the brush. Any areas I want to pick up, I can apply the soap and shave. The soap wax left. Have a face wash with. Once I get everything cleaned up, and then we're back for the post shave. So, see you in a minute. Okay, so uh, warm water rinse, cold water rinse. Post shave as it is feels superb. 
with chisel. Not going to bother with it. Don't need it. The post shave is that good. I'm going to put some balm on. I've got some L'Oreal Birch Sap Balm. So it's it's a very very liquid balm, as you can hear. Very very thin. It's not a heavy scent. It just soaks straight in. Okay, quick recap what we used today. The razor was Gillette Rocket. Good hands. The razor was a Gillette Rocket. One piece. Adjustable. 1949, 1950, thereabouts, 53. Made in England, retailed in Canada and returned to the UK by me. I repatriated it. Uh, in there we had a pole silver super iridium on its first use. So now the blade's out, it's been dried. The wrap out there has a red dot on it, that tells me it's had one use. The blade goes back in the wrap out and gets put to one side ready for the next shave or the next use. I don't bother with the dice and that because people will move the numbers around and confuse you. The brush, Razor Rock 400, rubber set, based on the round of the rubber set 400 with the handle and the black pliss on, synthetic knot, really nice brush to use. And the salt, and probably the star of the show, beside me obviously. Ariana. And Evans, so called hipster. Really nice soap, quality soap, lovely scent. Uh, like I said, Gareth, thank you very much, more than generous, to uh, piff this, send, send this to me. Uh, greatly appreciated, and it will get very well used, believe me. Uh, soap scent is, like I said earlier, Pink peppercorn, pineapple, banana, passion fruit, mango, cade, oak moss, sandalwood, cedarwood, and musk. And yes, I'm reading off some notes. So I'd never remember that. If you like your summer scents, have a bit of fruit and uh, spice to them. Yeah, quality soap, really nice. Plus shave as well. Easy to, easy to work with. Quality performance. That's it folks. Uh, thanks for watching. Any comments? Leave them below. And I'll see you in the next shave. Bye for now.